out again. It's a red stick. Nebula. There's a big world out there. So let us talk about it. Despite the fact that the center is temporarily closed, we remain excited about science and space exploration. We'll take you on a broad tour of a space topic in this video. Today's theme is a nebula. What is nebula? A nebula is a vast cloud of dust and gas that occurs between stars and acts as a nursery for newborn stars. The term nebula is derived from the Latin nebula, which meaning mist, vapor, fog, smoke. Emanation. Nebulae are made up of dust, fundamental elements such as hydrogen and other ionist gases. They are formed by either cold interstellar gas clouds or dust, or by a supernova explosion. Hot, young stars, such as those in the Carina Nebula, employ stellar winds and blistering UV radiation to erode and shape the clouds into this beautiful scene. The nebula has low-density portions are shredded, whereas denser parts are resistant to erosion and maintain substantial pillars. New stars continue to develop in the cold, dark interiors of these columns. During star formation, a disk Surrounding the protostar slowly accretes onto the star's surface. Some of the material is ejected via jets perpendicular to the accretion disk. The jets may reach speeds of hundreds of miles per second. When these jets collide with the surrounding nebula, they leave tiny, brilliant patches of nebulosity. Known as nebulosity patches. Discovery of nebula? As with most things in the universe, many people can claim to have discovered nebulae. It was perhaps first noted by the Persian astronomer Abd al-Rahman al-Sufi in 964. When writing about the Andromeda galaxy, he mentioned a tiny cloud. The birth of the Crab Nebula early Arabic and Chinese. Astronomers observed it as a consequence of a supernova in 1054. Because of advances in optics, nebulae were not noticed until the 17th century. The Orion Nebula was found in 1610 by Nicolas Claude Fabry de Paris and Johann Baptist Syset discovered it in 1618. However, it took until 1659 for famed scientist Christian Huygens to make the first precise observations. Huygens was a scientist as well. He was the first to create a systematic formula for centripetal force in 1659. Huygens has had a successful year. Around 50 years later, Edmund Halley released information on six other nebulae. A comet was named after him in his honor. Not really, he was a great scientist who served as the United Kingdom's second astronomer royal. However, celebrities began to flock to nebulae over time. Edwin Hubble helped to classify nebulae. Based on their light spectra, as well as find that virtually all nebulae are associated to stars and are illuminated by starlight. Thank you guys watching this video. Don't forget to like and sub and check out our social links in the description. Bye see you all in the next video.